हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू शुभ्रा रंजन आई एस माय नेम एस शुभांशु जयसवाल एंड लेट्स कंटिन्यू आर डेली करंट अफेयर्स प्रैक्टिस नाउ इन क्वेश्चन वन टुडे वी हैव दिस हियर यू हैव गॉट टू कॉलम्स हियर यू हैव द प्रोडक्ट्स एंड हियर यू हैव द स्टेट्स यू हैव टू मैच इट नाउ व्हाट आर दीज प्रोडक्ट्स दीज आर द प्रोडक्ट्स विच वर इन द न्यूज वाई इन न्यूज बिकॉज दे वर प्रोवाइडेड विद द जी आई टैग नाउ वॉट इज जी आई टैग इट इज जियोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन टैग नाउ वाई डू वी गिव दिस टैग टू पर्टिकुलर products this tag is given to those products who belong to who are you know produced or found in a particular geographical area and they possess they have a speciality or quality or reputation fine for example darjeeling tea it is found particularly in your darjeeling area and it has certain quality it has certain standard and also uh, these products are even you they are manufactured or produced certain standard is kept in mind so these cannot be produced by anyone around the world they are mail once they are allotted the gi tag they are produced in that region and by following the particular standard procedure fine so this is how we give the gi tag fine now so let's see the okay first of all this udan guri now one thing more uh, as i said that these are given to products who belong to a specific area so you will see most of the times they are uh, you know followed by the name of the place fine so the specific area where they are found for example this panaga karupatti it is found in the udan guri town of tamil nadu that is why you have it here similarly jalisar and sambhal are also the name of the places where these particular products are made or found fine so here as i said udanguri it is in the state of tamil nadu so this particular pair is incorrectly matched and jalisar dhatu shilp it is in up sambhal horn card it is also in up fine so here only two pairs are correctly matched you can go for option number fine now just let's see the brief let's have a brief idea about these three products what exactly it is starting from this udanguri karupatti what is karupatti it is basically jaggery fine made from palm fine you can see this is jaggery and it is made by palm now what is special about this jaggery that it is not made uh, any chemical as such is not used uh, during the manufacture of this particular jaggery okay it can be used in uh, like as a substitute for white sugar and it has a lots of benefits fine now this is done next you have sambal horn craft which you can see it is made from the horn of buffalo bull okay now these are made from the dead bull uh, sorry the horn of dead animals that is why it is comparatively eco friendly then you have jaleshwar dhatu shilp which is the metal craft fine this is also found in your up area now let's go ahead now consider the following statements with reference to dancing frogs fine number 1 it is a genus of frogs from that are endemic to the himalayas in india endemic means when a species is found particularly in one area it is native to that area and it is not found in any other area fine so here this is incorrect statement because dancing frogs are primarily found in your western ghats fine now next its habitats include high altitude shola forest wet evergreen forest mysteria swamps and secondary forest now this particular species dancing frog they live generally near the streams shallow streams and in the shallow streams which are perennial in nature and which are found in your western ghat area so this particular habitat is matching because shola forest there this you also find it uh this also you find in the western ghats only so this habitat is quite relevant here fine these are the most threatened amphibian genus genus of india yes as highlighted in the global amphibian assessment report these are one of the most threatened species right now in amphibians category in india and that is why it is important so here two statements are correct and one is incorrect they are asking you the correct so you can go for this one fine let's go ahead now firstly just have a look this is dancing frog 
okay now what is special about this you can see the posture fine now this dancing frog actually it does what it flaps its foot fine just like this why to attract its species other species okay now what is uh, this is called food flagging and as we discussed this particular species is found in the western ghat in the vicinity of streams okay perennial streams fine rest of the things we have discussed one more thing which was recently found in few uh, few years back that their tadpoles they live underground fine now this they live in the shallow streams and in those in those stream uh, below uh, the water when you dig then you can find their tadpoles this is also special thing about them that is why their tadpoles are generally not found on the surface of water they live under the ground okay below the surface fine below the water and underground okay now these are the things which you need to keep in mind as far as this species is concerned you can also have a look at the scientific name okay because upsc has asked questions from that area now what is the primary objective of operation ajay which was mentioned in the news so i am very sure that you must have heard about this operation this operation was primarily to rescue the to evacuate the indian nationals from conflict hit israel so you know currently the war is going on in between israel and palestine so indian government is evacuating the indian nationals using this particular operation fine similar operation was held in the beginning of this year uh, to rescue the indian citizens from sudan region when the conflict was going on there that operation was operation kaveri fine so here in this question the correct answer would be answer number 4 fine option number 4 now israel palestine a lot of developments are happening every day uh, you don't need to go into much detail just keep the basic things in mind just know what is exactly happening fine what is the map what is the geography etc fine i hope you are aware of the fact that uh, this is how the map appears of israel and palestine these area are actually occupied by your palestinian and particularly this time the conflict is going on in this part this is called gaza strip and it is controlled by hamas so the battle is been is in between the hamas and israel government fine so let's go ahead now similar uh, already uh, in the year 2018 there has been a question on israel palestine issue the question was the term two state solution is sometimes mentioned in the news is it is in the context of affairs of israel fine now consider the following statements with respect to the white goods number 1 it encompasses significant household appliances including led bulbs refrigerators freezers washing machines tumble dryers dishwashers and air conditioners so yes this statement is correctly describing the white goods so generally these household appeal appliances because initially when they were manufactured their color was white okay their body was white so that is why they are often regarded as white goods and even today when these appliances are available in multiple colors variety of colors we still call them white goods fine second statement says it refers to electronic consumer durables that are relatively compact and lightweight so such goods compact and lightweight including items like computer digital players tv etc this is not white good this is actually the definition of brown good fine so second statement is incorrect first statement is correct so you kick they are asking you the correct option go for option number 1 now so you can just have a look initially when in the beginning in the 19th century they were manufactured most of the appliances were white in color fine 
rest of the things we have discussed so this is all in the news more such developments have happened and we'll bring it uh, in your attention in the form of these questions i hope they help you in case you have any doubt you can write it down in the comment section thank you have a good day